A scheduled concert this Friday at Aloha Stadium by Rain, a Korean pop star, will not take place. Jai Cunningham joins us now. Jai, what kind of explanation has the Star's production company given for rain not making it to Hawaii? Yeah, Joe, officially none. Uh, in the days leading up to this week's scheduled concert at Aloha Stadium, there have been complaints about staging, lighting, how things are being set up. But no one from Korea has told local promoters why the show won't go on. He's known as one of the top performers in all of Asia. But this superstar apparently won't be dancing across a Hawaii stage anytime soon. We have decided that Rain's Hawaii concert on June 15th cannot proceed as planned. As we are still waiting for an official announcement from Rain. That announcement came at a press conference in Waikiki. No music, no dancing, no show. My understanding is that the ultimate, ultimately they haven't really given a clear reason for why they're not, not coming. Local promoters won't say how many tickets have been sold with prices ranging from 80 to $350. Give me something I can it was just this past December when Aloha Stadium hosted super band U2. The production manager for the Rain concert says everything was in place for a successful show. The uh, promoters endeavored to bring as much stuff and actually had boats from San Diego bringing equipment here. They uh, ultimately, all of the production concerns for the event were met. Every single requirement. When Russo was asked if he would work for a future rain production, another promoter from Toronto says his show was canceled weeks ago. I hope the Hawaii comes better than Toronto because Toronto, we canceled in May 3rd, right? So it's been 40 days. We haven't got even a penny from Korea. Lee says he's out $250,000 and looking for his money back to refund thousands who bought tickets. Back here at home, Click Entertainment says refunds will be made. For more information on how to contact them, you can check our website, khon2.com. Jai Cunningham, KHON2 News.